John 13. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. It was just before the Passover feast. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world. It was time for him to go to the Father. Jesus loved his disciples who were in the world, so he now showed them how much he really loved them. The evening meal was being served. The devil had already tempted Jesus, Judas Iscariot, son of Simon. He had told Judas to hand Jesus over to his enemies. Jesus knew that the Father had put everything under his power. He also knew he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal and took off his outer clothes. He wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a large bowl. Then he began to wash his disciples' feet. He dried them with a towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter. Lord, Peter said to him, Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You don't realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you can't share life with me. Lord, Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, wash my hands and head too. Jesus answered, A person who has had a bath need to wash only his feet. The rest of his body is clean, and you are clean, but not all of you are. Jesus knew who was going to hand him over to his enemies. That's why he has said not everyone was clean. When Jesus finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes, then he returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked him. You call me teacher and Lord. You are right. That is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, so you also should wash one another's feet. I have given you an example. You should do as I have done for you. What I am about to tell you is true. A servant is not more important than his master, and a messenger is not more important than the one who sends him. Now you know these things, so you will be blessed if you do them. Jesus tells what Judas will do. I am not talking about all of you. I know those who have chosen. But this will happen so that scripture will come true. It says, The one who shares my bread has deserted me. Psalms chapter 41 verse 9. I am telling you now, before it happens, when it does happen, you will believe that I am me. What I am about to tell you is true. Anyone who accepts someone I send accepts me. And anyone who accepts accepts me accepts the one who sent me after he had said this Jesus' spirit was troubled here is the witness he gave what i'm about to tell you is true one of you is going to hand me over to my enemies his disciples stared at one another they had no idea which one of them he meant the disciples jesus loved was next to him at the table simon peter motioned to that disciple he asked he said, ask Jesus which one he means. The disciple was leaning back against Jesus. He asked him, Lord, which one? Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one I will give this piece of bread to. I will give it to him after I have dipped in, in the dress. He dipped a piece of bread and gave it to Judas Iscariot, son of Simon. As soon as Ju- Judas took the bread, Satan answered to him, do quickly what you are going to do. Jesus told him, but no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. Jesus was in charge of the money, so some of the disciples thought Jesus was telling them to buy what was needed for the feast. Others thought Jesus was talking about giving something to poor people. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out, and it was night. Jesus says that Peter will fail. After, after Ju- Judas was gone, Jesus spoke. He said, Now the Son of Man receives glory, and he brings brings glory to God. If the Son brings glory to God, God himself will bring glory to to the Son. God will do it at once. My children, I will be with you a little longer. You will look for me, just as I told the Jews. So I am telling you now, you can't come where I am going. I give you a new command. Love one another. You must love one another, just as I, I have loved you. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, Where I am going, you can't follow now, but you will follow me later. Lord, Peter asked, Why can't I follow you now? I will give my life for you. Then Jesus answered, Will you really give your life for me? What I am about to tell you is true. Before my rooster crows, you will say three times that you don't know me. 
Jesus comforts his disciples. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust in me also. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If this were not true, I have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. If I go and do that, I will come back, and I will take you to be with me. Then you will also be where I am. You know the way to the place I, where I am going. Jesus is the way to the Father. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father also. From now on, you do know him, and you have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? I have been among you such a long time. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am I am in the Father? Don't you believe that the Father is in me? The words I say to you are not just my own. The Father lives in me. He is the one who is doing his work. Believe me when I say I am in the Father. Also believe that the Father is in me. Or at least believe what the miracles show me about. What I am about to tell you is true. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. In fact, he will do even greater things. That is because I am going to the Father, and I will do anything you, if you ask in my name, and the Son will bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. The Father will send the Holy Spirit. If you love me, you will obey what I command. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another friend to help you and to be with you forever. The friend is the spirit of the truth. The world can't accept him. That is because the word, world then does not see him or know him, but you know him. He lives with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you like children who don't have parents. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you will, see, you will live also. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father. You will know that you are in me, and I am in you. Anyone who has my commands and obeys them loves me. My Father will love the one who loves me. I will too love him, and I will show myself to him. Then Judah spoke. Lord, he said, why do you plan to show, show yourself only to us? Why not also to the world? The Judas who spoke those words, words was not Judas Iscariot. Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love him. We will come to him and make our home with him. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teachings. The words you hear me say are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. I have spoken all these things while I am with you, but the Father will send the friend of my name to help you. The friend is the Holy Spirit. He will teach you all things. He will remind you of everything I have said to you. I leave my place with you. I give my peace with to you. I do not give it to you as the world does. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away, and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you will be glad I am going to the Father. The Father is greater than I am. I have told you now before it happens, that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not speak with you much longer. The Prince of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must learn that I love the Father. They must also learn that I do exactly what my Father has commanded me to do. Come now, let us leave. John chapter 15 The vine and the branches I am the true vine. My father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch joined to me that does not bear fruit. He trims every branch that does bear fruit. Then it will bear even more fruit. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain joined to me, and I will remain joined to you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain joined to the vine. In the same way, you can't bear fruit unless you may you remain joined to me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If anyone remains joined to me, and I am to him, he will bear a lot of fruit. You can't do anything without me. If anyone does not remain to join me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and dries up. Branches like those are picked up. They are thrown into the fire and burnt. If you remain joined to me and my words remain in you, ask for anything you wish, and it will be given to you. When you bear a lot of fruit, it brings glory to my Father. It shows that you are my disciples. Just as the Father has loved me, I have loved you. 
now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love. In the same way, I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in His love. I have told you this so my, that my joy will be with you. I also want your joy to be complete. Here is my command. Love each other, just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than the one who gives his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I do not call you servants anymore. Servants do not know their master's business. Instead, I called you my friends. I have told you everything I learned from my father. You did not choose me. Instead, I chose you. I appointed you to go and bear fruit. It is fruit that I will last. Then the father will give you anything you ask for in, in my name. Here is my command. Love each other. The world hates the disciples. Does the world hate you? Remember that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it will love you like one of its own. But you do not belong to the world. I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember the words I spoke to you. I said, a servant is not more important than his master. John chapter 13 verse 16. If people hated me and tried to hurt me, they will do the same as to you. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours too. They will treat you like that because of my name. They do not know the one who sent me. If I not come and spoken to them, they will not be guilty of sin. But now they have no excuse for this sin. Those who hate me will hate my father also. I did miracles among them that no one else did. If I hadn't, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have chosen those miracles. And still they have hated both me and my father. This has happened so that what is written in the law would come true. It says, They hit at me without any reason. Psalms chapter 35 verse 19, 69 verse 4. I will send a friend to you from the Father. Yes, the Spirit of truth, who comes out, out from the Father. When the friend comes to help you, he will give witness about me. You also must give witness. This is because you have been with me from the beginning.